If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the Team of the Week Week 4 reveal, guys. I'm super excited for this. Team of the Week has been super fun all year, quite honestly. Since, they, since, since Week 1, I've been enjoying it. We've gotten two flashback Legend S cards. A current flashback type player, a current weak banger player. We got some set pieces, which are power expansions. I really like like how Aaron Donald got the plus one that tossed him over some thresholds. Like continuously, team of the week is just like a banger for increasing players and getting new stuff in the game. Really liking it and the way it's formatted. So gonna go over this morning's reveal, show you guys just about everything we can be expecting and seeing today when it does drop officially at around two-ish, whenever it does actually drop. Now, guys. For today's Poodle Squad shout out, it goes to Jackson Webster. Shout out to you, man, for being part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support each and every day. I greatly appreciate it. And if you guys want a chance to be shout out in the Poodle Squad, as per usual, like the video, turn on that notify bell, boys. Come join the family, subscribe to the channel, and of course, be comment down below Poodle Squad. That's all you gotta do. But moving on from that, guys, moving on from that. If you guys see any of these players and you like what you see and you want some, remember when it does drop round two, my uh, this, my sponsor Mutt Reserve will have. The cards being you could be, be able to buy the cards directly on the team of the week cards, which is a little bit safer. And if not, you can always buy training and or coins for the cards as well. Make sure to check that around when things do drop or pick them up now if you want to get it done early. Use code Poodle for an additional 15% off. But let's head into this and start checking out all the screenshots and showing you guys the reveal. Oh, and make sure you guys are playing your solos. Remember, as these do drop, if you don't play your solos, you will be behind. So make sure you start playing your solos and you start catching up because I believe you need around like 14 of them. So that means you can only miss three weeks. So if this is your first week. You kind of got to go straight from here on out. So make sure you are playing them and getting them done and that you don't go ahead and actually end up missing one of these and you do not get your free team of the year player later in the year. So make sure you go ahead and play those. But moving on from that, let's go check out the players. So guys, the first card that was revealed last night was Asi Yuminora, right end. He used to be on the New York Giants, guys, which is super awesome. As you guys do know, I'm a Giants fan, so I was pretty excited when I saw this, to be quite honest with you guys. 83 speed. 89 excel 84 strength 87 tackle 87 play rec 84 block shed 81 power move and 90 finesse move now all we need now is a justin tuck and a michael strand i can complete my whole line trifecta but in terms of stats he can be powered up of course so 84 speed powered up 90 excel that's solid i like that 85 strength solid 88 tackle 88 play rex pretty good 85 block shed's decent 82 power move and 91 finesse move so again Powered up and chemed up, he's going to have the finesse move threshold, be super athletic. He's kind of going to be like a Lawrence Taylor on the right end. If you have him and Taylor on the same side rushing, it's going to be pretty crazy athleticism-wise. I think Asi Minor is pretty good. I don't know if he's the best end in the game. I mean, well, obviously, I mean, a Reggie White's better. But I don't know if he's one of the best right ends in the game. Like, you should have him on a God Squad or depending on his price. Again, if he's like 140K, 130K, maybe it's worth it. Again, we have to see it's all based on price and what else we end up seeing this week. But he is looking really really good regardless of whether or not he is the best one or a top three or even a top seven either way he does look pretty good i think asi Minor would be a really fun card to play with and of course giants theme teams did just get a pretty decent sized upgrade today moving on to the next card we got sean alexander halfback for the seattle seahawks this one's pretty cool as well love seeing him back in the game now 88 speed 89 excel 85 agility 90 carrying 69 catching 86 change of direction 87 trucking 87 break tackle Kemmed up, powered up, he's going to have 89 speed, 90 excel, 86 agility, 91 carrying. And what's really important here is going to probably be, I mean, on this card, he's a, he's a well-rounded card. He's decently agile, decently decent power, pretty good power, actually, decent speed. Do I think he's a competitive card? Not by any means. Do I think he's a good Seattle Seahawks theme team card? Probably, yes, very. But in my opinion, he is not going to be a competitive, like, you know, meta card because not fast enough, not enough agility, although he has some. Great carrying. Not enough change of direction, not enough catching. He's kind of like, he's not great at anything. He's just good at everything. And again, that doesn't that doesn't pay the bills in mud. It never has. So, not bad. Still pulled a steam in the game. Just not going to be a meta card. That's fine. So, we still have to go over next, guys. The heroes and the power expansion and everything else. So, let's go check out that and see the rest of this. So guys, and for the team of the week, week four hero, we got Odell Beckham Jr. as predicted. Now, it wasn't like I made some crazy prediction. He had a crazy game. They pretty much hinted at it. It was pretty obvious to make this one. So, so far, we're, we're technically one. One for three today, if you want to count Odell. 91 speed, 92 jumping, 84 catching, 85 catch traffic, 92 spec catch, 89 short running, 87 medium out running, 86 deep out running. Now, I'm going to be honest, guys, this card's iffy. You have to do a few things to make this card great. First off, you have to power it up. Like, no doubt have to power it up. That is the only way he gets the short running threshold and the deep out running threshold combined. 
So you have to power him up and then get locked uh, and then get uh go deep like maxed out. He'll end up with a 90 deep route running and an over 90 short running, which will give him will, will make him an elite receiver technically. Without he won't have the medium, he'll be like too short on that one. But his spec catch as well will end up being like a 96, 97 or something crazy like that. So he's gonna have a crazy spec catch. He's gonna have a 92 speed as well. So he's gonna be one of the fastest. He's gonna be a combo of like one of the fastest, best deep guys in the game, while also being a pretty great spec catcher and a decent short like like slants and ends and stuff. So that's not bad at all. Again, you have to do a few things to make him great, but I still think he's a great receiver nonetheless. I just wish his medium would have been better. Like, I wish his medium was an 89 as well. They make his medium an 89. He hands down is probably one of the best receivers in the game. Of course, the catching traffic and catching kind of rough, but still. Moving on, we got AJ Green as this week's 91 overall LTD. I was not expecting this at all. I honestly thought it was going to be Bobby Wagner. 89 speed, 93 jumping, 90 catching, 91 catching traffic, 92 short running. I'm uh, sorry, 92 spec catch, 89 short running, 87 medium, and 86 deep. Same exact thing as Odell. You have to power him up. Power up to get to 90 speed, 94 jumping. That's pretty good. 91 catching, 92 catching traffic, 93 spec. But he gets 90 short, 88 medium, and 90 deep running as well once you do uh, go deep on him. So he's going to end up with like, some, something crazy like a 96 spec. He's going to be like literally, this card is identical to Odell. Pretty much take two speed off Odell and add... 90 get 90 catching and catch traffic that's all you're doing you're pretty much losing two speed but getting the catching stats and the height so if you care more about height and catching this is essentially like a vincent jackson if you care about height and catching aj green's your guy if you care more about speed and uh just speed pretty much go odell that's pretty much the difference there now let's get into the power up expansion players here so we got kendall fuller as one of them he gets a plus one here to his uh power up so he's gonna have 85 speed i believe uh 87 excel 81 awareness, 80, uh, 81 jumping, pretty decent card, nothing too crazy. Next, we got Tom Brady, who is now an 86 overall. Again, not too excited about this one either with that throw power. Not a useful card, in my opinion. Decent, I mean, it's cool. Tom Brady did have a pretty big week, had a few touchdowns. Might have had a lot of touchdowns, actually. Kendall Fuller, I honestly don't know what he did. Next, we got George Kittle. Now, I did predict George Kittle, so that's another prediction for us there. I did predict George Kittle will get one of the set cards. Uh, his speed goes up plus one. I told you, if he gets that plus one speed, it makes him even better. He gets 80 run blocking now, like I said. He gets 82 speed. He gets the 90 catching threshold. Like, he's hitting a lot of thresholds now. The 80 trucking threshold. He's getting a lot of higher stuff than what he had prior, so that is awesome. Now, is he still is, is he still a top is he a top three tight end in the game? Probably not. Probably still like four or five, but definitely helps. Now, all he needs is another card. Maybe he'll see a most fear card. I'm used to him. He usually sees like a mud hero card or something. We wouldn't have that this year so far at least so maybe he sees the most feared card and if not it might be a while till we get him hopefully we do get him soon though because it would be exciting to have a banger george kittle back in the game uh yeah so that's pretty great there and then now joe mixon's a weird one joe mixon actually gets something different so his team of the week item is an 87 overall so he actually gets to put his team of the week item into his card or a training option so you know before it was like the card would be like a 79 overall and joe mixon would be like an 85 so it's like okay or whatever, Joe Mixon's 83, so you just get a plus one on his power-up. If the Team of the Week collectible is a higher overall than the player base elite itself, he actually goes up to that power-up. So, since the end was 87 and Joe Mixon was like an 81, Joe Mixon actually gets powered up all the way up to an 88 now. So, Joe Mixon does become an 88, which honestly, I thought his stats would be better here if you really you kind of look at it. So, prior to this, let's see. So, I mean, Joe Mixon's decent. I don't think he's a great back at all here in terms of like... So, his trucking's an 80 right there. And then his trucking here is an 82. Uh, again, like not significant upgrades. He's not a power back. His carrying is not too great. His speed is not too great. I don't know why they thought this was going to be a useful card. I like the fact that they're doing this, but I'm not a fan of how they put the stats on Mixon. Kind of wasted him there. Next, we got Bradley Chubb. Another guy, same thing. Had like an 81 overall. He goes all the way to an 80, uh, 88 now. 80 speed, 82 excel solid. 89 impact blocking, 80 power, power move. And I imagine this finesse is pretty decently high as well. Card looks pretty good, not gonna lie. Not not a bad card in the slightest. Now it does wrap up all of them, guys. So we got Chubb and Mixon as the two highest, like powered up upgrade guys. And Kittle. Those guys went up until 88, 88, and 89, which is pretty exciting. We got Odell. We got Sean Alexander. We got Asim Minora. And we got AJ Green. A pretty good week. I honestly did like it. Odell's always a fun week when you get an Odell. Guys, about it for the video. Hope you did enjoy. If you want coins, start stacking up now. Heading over to Mutt Reserve, pick up some coins with Cool Poodle. For the 15% off, go pick them up so you're ready for when this does drop later on today in the afternoon. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Make sure to join the Poodle Squad. Make sure to subscribe and comment down below. I'm out. Peace.